Hey, you guys, it is Jim. So this handsome man across from me, wow. you all, how was that? It took I you, you're a handsome man. I appreciate it. And you're a handsome you. man known as Buddy the Elf, yeah. but your real name is Kyle Adams. It's true. And dude, uh, congratulations, first Thank and foremost. Thank you so much, Jim. I appreciate it. Man, what, what an amazing ride it has been for that first week. And, and people here, a crowd behind us. That was a thousand plus people at the matinee today. On right. a Thursday, we had 1,400 yesterday at matinee. Everybody is loving this show. So we got to talk on opening night, yeah. but it's picked up again and going mm -hmm. at it. Like, how's that feel? And especially every single time you guys walk out of there, you get this enormous standing ovation. That alone's got to be pretty cool. I, I never take it for granted. I'm telling you, every time we come out there and see all those people, still pinching myself, really, since day one of the process. I'm just like, I can't believe I'm here doing this. It's crazy. But yeah, I mean, it's been, it's been huge. The, the crowds, I mean, that's what we do it for. The people to come and enjoy it and um, the fact that they are has made every bit of work worth it and it's all ages too yeah you know like and we talk about the fact of hey there's a couple things that are adult asking it and you know word like uh hell is in there and damn but kids of all ages are loving the whole show it blows right over them and it's just magic yeah. watching both the parents and kids together. absolutely there's something for everybody for sure so let's talk about the process. So you got cast probably during the summertime, maybe? Yeah, I think it was like that? June, July, I found out. Yeah. So when do you start working on this character? Uh, right away. I mean, as soon as I found out I was doing it, I immediately started. I think I watched the movie once just to be like, I haven't seen it for years, so let me just watch it one more time. And then uh, since we started rehearsals, I haven't seen it again uh, as much as I want to. I love, I love the movie. but. Uh, as soon as I got the script, I was trying to memorize it and everything because I really wanted to uh, put all of my focus on just being present in the moment and not worried about having my head in the book right. at all. Um, and just wanted to come in as off book as I could, uh, just so I could start really getting into the nitty gritty of the work and building the relationships and all that good stuff. You know, you talk about the movie, let's face it, Will Ferrell made this pretty much in an iconic role. No doubt about it. And so when you got the role, How'd you approach it? And did you and Amber talk about, like, what do you do? And did you want to mirror Will Ferrell? Do you want to stay away from that whole sure. thing? Yeah, Is there no. some added pressure to it because of that? We talked about it, of course. I mean, yeah, there's, there's nothing you can do as far as uh, the preconceived notion. When people come in, they, they have an idea of what it is, at least the people who have seen the movie and love the movie, which is pretty much everybody. Right. Um, and it's, it, it's, it's an easy thing to kind of be like, well, let me just copy everything that he does. I mean, it wouldn't be easy. I mean, he's, he's an iconic performer. Right. When you think of Buddy the Elf, you think of Will Ferrell. But, uh, you know, my job as an actor is to, to not think about that at all when the process starts. And obviously there's some things that are influenced by him because he's such a great actor and a great comedian. But my job was kind of just to like live in the moment and kind of react honestly to when things were happening. And that, allowed me to easily kind of put my own spin on it. Is there a point during the rehearsal process, because you got, what, about three weeks across the street mm -hmm. in the Copley, yep. then you guys come over here, where you finally realize, like, I'm starting to get it. Like, I'm starting to get Buddy. I'm finding the yeah, character. Yeah. Like, I, do you start feeling that absolutely. somewhere? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, every day that goes by in rehearsal, you're building those relationships, and you're finding out who the character is, and you're easing into it. And then tech happens, and all that kind of flies out the window for right. a week as you're you know, getting a million things thrown at you, and you find your light, and you're not in the right place and all that. Um, and then as soon as the first audience comes in, you're right back into it, and uh, it's a great feeling. I mean, even through the tech process when it was so tiring and everything, like I said, I was still pinching myself every time we were on a hold or whatever. It's, it, was, it's, it was never uh, never a thing I could take for granted, just being here at the Paramount, it's crazy. And so people understand, we talk about tech rehearsal, yeah. and that's grueling because there, you may, you just at some points just say your line, which goes into a queue, and then you wait for the queue, and then everybody does it, they may have to readjust, you go back and do it like 12 times if yeah. they need to, then you wait, you go to the next line, whoever's got the queue, right? Yeah. And you go through that. So it's not even like you're acting. Yeah, it's not for us. It's for all the, the, the brilliant people backstage, the lighting, the, the tech, you know, the, the projections, which are brilliant, the sound, uh, stage management, all these amazing people to really put their stamp on the show. And it shows. I mean, and there is a ton of it, too. Absolutely. It's a huge show, For people who show, haven't seen it, this is an enormous yes. production, an amazing production. And it's so cool to see the reaction of the crowd every night because everyone's putting so much work to it on all sides of the, of the spectrum. You know, you and Jovi together on stage, you guys just seem like a great couple in that magic together. And then the fact that you just look like you enjoy each other on stage. So did you guys spend time off stage? How did that, or did that somehow just naturally come through the process? Because it just, 
it just feels like you booked guys belong. She's, yeah, she's just brilliant. I mean, she's incredible. Like, uh, I mean, I think we get along great on and off stage, but um, I'm kind of wowed every day when, I mean, sometimes I feel like I'm not matching her because she's so good. But uh, it's really just like really easy to, to be natural with Sam on stage. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, hard to be, it's hard to be anything but, but good when you're, when you're acting with her. She makes you better. So when I kind of feel that way about everybody in the show. I mean, yeah, it's a I great mean, cast. Toe to toe, everybody on that stage no is amazing. Doubt. And including everybody backstage and all the people that take to run this kind yeah. of thing. Uh, you know, you've got to do so much. So you're acting and not just acting, you're acting out to 1800 people, but still having to make people realize like the emotions that you're going mm -hmm. through and Buddy goes through an amazing amount of emotions. Oh, yeah. There, and the wonderment and all these things. Then you're singing, then you're dancing. So are, is there one a aspect of that that is harder than the other that when you're going through this? Sure, song? for me, I'm not a dancer whatsoever. Um, any any compliments that I've gotten on my dancing in the show, I've immediately uh, put all of the credit to Amber and Megan, uh, who's uh, the, the, the the associate choreographer. Um, and they've been so huge at making me look good. And uh, my concern as someone who's not a great dancer was these brilliant ensemble, you know, behind me. I don't want to make them look bad because I'm front and center. Right. But uh, I think I've, I've learned to blend in pretty well. And um, the good thing about Buddy is that you don't really have to blend in. You know, if I mess up, they got to they gotta follow me. So <laughs> that's kind of cool. But no, I mean, every time I turn around and see when I'm watching the dancing, the amazing tap number at the end, I'm just like, thank, thank goodness I don't have to do that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the dancing was a challenge, but uh, I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out. I mean, so the rumors of you producing your own how-to dance video, that's well, that was just rumor or that's in the works? We're, it's in the works, okay. but I'm having help from, from my friends in the show. Nice, sure. very yeah. nice. Uh, also, one of the cool elements uh, is the skating on yeah. synthetic ice. So number one, were you a skater before you did all this? I would not call myself a skater. I had ice skated before and I could, I could go around in a circle without falling. Uh, but I would usually need a wall to stop. Uh, <laughs> but we did have a couple of uh, cool little ice skating workshops with Amber, who's a brilliant figure skater. Right, yeah, uh, people, people don't realize don't like, she was a figure skater for years she's amazing. as a kid. Yeah, yeah. she's so, so uh, multi-talented. Um, and she kind of helped us get our bearings and taught us a couple of the moves. Uh, Sam, uh, Jovi and I do a little spinny thing, everybody does it really, and um, kind of weaving in and out of people. And once we got into the actual space and we realized kind of how small it is, it looks great on stage. Yeah. When you're up there, it's smaller than it looks. And uh, it's pretty easy to navigate. You know, we figured it out. It's, there were some, some learning curves or some growing pains, of course, when we were rehearsing uh, a couple of spills. But uh, no, yeah, I think, I think we pulled it off pretty well. And the rumors yet again about your ice skating uh, DVD, well, how to instructional. It's a, it's a two disc Nice, yeah. very yeah. nice. Dance Perfect on for the holidays, by the way. Absolutely. So stay tuned, more coming. You got All it. All right, so look, we're going to take a little break uh, with Kyle here and come back for part two. So stay tuned, more coming with Mr. Kyle Adams, a.k.a. Buddy the Elf, with yeah. our amazing production of Elf the Musical. Thanks, Jim.